Hi everyone. In this lesson, I want to uh, look at how we can find a polynomial that has given zeros. So for example, uh, if I want to find a polynomial function that has zeros 2 and 5, in other words, suppose that I'm making up an exam and, and I want to uh, have a, a trinomial that the students would factor and find the zeros to be 2 and 5, uh, what polynomial would that be? Well, to understand how we do that, uh, just think if I had a polynomial x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0, and I wanted to find the zeros of that, uh, uh, or the solutions of this equation, which would be the zeros of the polynomial right here, if I factor that, I would get x minus 2 times x minus 5 equals 0, and then I'd set each of these factors equal to 0, uh, because if I have two numbers multiplied together to give me 0, one of them has to be 0. And then I'd solve this, right? I get x equals 2 and x equals 5, okay? So the way that I'm going to find a polynomial function that has these zeros is I'm, is I'm really going to do what I did here, but I'm just going to do it in reverse. The first thing that will help me do that is to actually write down x equals 2 and x equals 5. And then I'm going to bring the 2 over on this side and bring the 5 over on this side. So I get 0 on the other side, and that corresponds right here. So all I'm doing is just going reverse. And notice that these have to be the factors in. x minus 2 times x minus 5 equals 0. That's going to be a polynomial that's going to have those zeros. And that's, of course, x squared minus 7x plus 10 uh, equals 0. And so my polynomial is just x squared minus 7x plus 10. That's a polynomial that's going to have those zeros. Okay? So if I have a polynomial function, uh, if I want to have a function that has zeros of negative 3 and 0 and 4, I know I'm just going to write down x equals negative 3, x equals 0, and x equals 4. And then I want to get 0 on, on uh, one of the sides. Uh, so let's take the minus 3 over here. And that tells me that x plus 3 is one of my factors. Now this one here already has 0, so that just means that x has to be the factor. And if I bring the 4 over here, that means that x minus 4 is a factor. So I know my polynomial is going to have x as a factor, and x plus 3, and x minus 4. OK, and you'll notice I did put the x out front, because that makes it easier to multiply. So let's multiply out the two binomials here. That would give me x squared when I do the first. Negative 4x and plus 3x is a negative x. And then 3 times minus 4 is negative 12. If I distribute the x through, I'll get x cubed minus x squared minus 12x. So here's a polynomial that's going to, if I just work in reverse, you'll see that it's going to have factors of 0 uh, or a uh, a uh, factor of x and x plus 3 times x minus 4, and that'll give me the zeros of 0 and negative 3 and 4 that I'm looking for. Okay.